Hello and welcome to this guide to Google Shared Drives. You can find your shared drives on your Google Drive if these have been turned on for your organisation. And you can click on and then access all your different shared drives. Now the purpose of shared drives are that these are drives owned by your organisation rather than an individual. This means that data is not lost when someone leaves. And it means also that you can have greater security via the different access levels that are credited on the Google Shared Drives. So the first thing to look at is how we create a shared drive. As you can see here, my new button is a little bit greyed out. This is because of our admin settings, which means not everyone can create shared drives. So in our organisation, you need to be an admin to create a shared drive. So over on my admin account, if I click new, it enables me to create a shared drive and name it. One thing I'd recommend is to make sure you've got some naming conventions for your shared drive. So for example, for us as a multi-academy trust, we try and put the name of the academy at the beginning of the shared drive so that we know which academy it belongs to. Once you've created your shared drive, you then want to manage the members and add some people in. You can do this here by clicking on the manage members button or click on the down arrow here and click manage members. By default, I am a manager. And what I'd recommend is always having at least two managers in your shared drive, just in case one of them leaves. So what I can then do is add new people in. So if I click my teacher account, I'm going to add them in. And just like with normal sharing in Google Drive, I get the option to notify or not. I'm just going to turn this off for now. What I then need to choose is the level of access. So as I said, you have a manager access that allows people to manage the content, people and settings of your shared drive. So for this, I'm going to choose the manager. But just to show you the other options, the content manager can add, edit, move and delete files. The contributor can add and edit files. This means they can't move and they can't delete. So that means you've got extra security. That would be the same for the commenter and for the viewer who you'll be familiar with those from normal Google Drive settings. So do make sure you've chosen the right level of access for your members of your Google Drive to make sure you've got appropriate security for your folders and files. One thing you should also be conscious of is the shared drive settings. If I click on this, so in the settings I can choose whether I allow people outside of my organization to be added to files, whether I allow people outside of the drive itself to be added to the files, and whether viewers and commenters can download, print, and copy files. So again, that gives you extra levels of security. So once I'm happy with my settings, I click Share. Back in my other account, I can now see this shared drive training folder appear. So if I double click on here, I can enter into this. Back in this little drop down, there's a few extra features to be aware of. You've got the option to email your members, of the drive, you can change the theme by picking another picture that creates a little thumbnail. I can rename it, I can search within it, and it can also view the bin. So if you do have the ability to delete items, they go into the bin folder. And so if you do need to view the bin, this is where you can access that folder. If you want to add files or folders to your Google Drive, you can again use the new button and use the file and folder upload buttons just like you would do in your My Drive. Obviously, bearing in mind that when you do upload those, you are not the owner of them, or the drive, which is technically your organization, will be the owner of those. When you do add files or folders, you can share those with other people who are not members of the drive, if the settings do allow. Another way of adding files is by transfer. So if I do have files that are in my Google Drive, and I want to move them across, I can just drag and drop them over or click on the right mouse, click on move to, and then move them to it. Now bear in mind, you can only transfer files that you are the owner of. So if I drag and drop this, I can drag it in there and it will move that. Obviously it's telling me that my permissions will change for that file. So I click move to say I'm happy with it. One thing you can't do currently is drag a folder. So if I try and drag this over, it will tell me in the bottom here, folders can't be moved into shared drives yet. So hopefully that will come at some point, but again, there will be limitations on what you can transfer because you will need to be the owner of it. 
Obviously, what this means is it can be difficult to transfer large amounts of information over to your shared drive if they're in multiple folders. So one way around this is you can right click and download your folder. So it will then zip that file for you onto your device. So if I want to upload it, I click on new, folder upload, then select the folder and click upload. One setting you might want to do before that is to, in your settings, is to do the convert uploads. The reason you might want this is because when you download files that are docs, sheets or slides, it will convert them into Microsoft Word, PowerPoint or Excel. If I then click this box, when I then upload it, it will convert them back into Google Docs, Sheets and Slides. So I hope this has been a helpful introductory guide to Google Shared Drives.